Hi, I'm going to be doing a makeup video showing like for skin. It's like so you've got like a lot of spots in that. Right, you want to start off with a good concealer. Like this is a quite good heavy duty concealer. Um, it's Oriflame and it's Studio Artist Concealer. It's got a Lumia flare in it, so it's like picture perfect. got that written on my hand <laughs> like you have to, I have to squeeze I am sorry I'm like running out and you don't need a lot of concealer if it's heavy duty like me I like the stick ones not like the ones these oh. yeah they're much better than like oh that's great by the way high quality yeah hey <laughs> <laughs> right I've it's got a bit of concealer makeup on but like it's come off mainly, so she's just gonna put some on her blemishes. Just going to zoom in here. Not to her blemishes, of course. That's a bit mean. Oh. Tile floor, didn't know what's. Oh, it's just, it's not tile floor. It's fake. Failed and spongy. So, as you can see, she's putting a little bit on. Yeah, I have got a lot of blemishes. How to like, is best with just your fingers. You can, of course, use a brush, like, so I'll pick it up. But it's better to use that for foundation. As you can see, it's um stippling brush. It's a stippling brush, and you can use it with powder too. Just don't tell anyone that's what I use it for. <laughs> <laughs> so you can pat your concealer, or as you can see, she rubs and pats at the same time. Turn well, I've got this good big spot there. You can see already an improvement. She's going to attempt to cover this blemish at the corner. How good quality is your phone? Like the camera, I don't mind. It's like a really good camera. The camera we're using is just the camera that comes on the Galaxy S2. Um, um, I think it's like an 8.1 megapixel or something. Yeah, yeah, hi. Yeah, that was just that just put me on your camera. <laughs> oh, <laughs> my hair is not done properly. <laughs> I apologise for my state just then. Like I'm like dying. And we're gonna put a video of like the right, so dye in my hair. This now? Concealer still. Yeah, just a bit more concealer. This is a bit more concealer if we zoom into the blemish that she's covering. Right. And I will put a video up of me like kit dye in my hair for me, which will be in a bit. Yeah, but doing my hair tonight we are using the Luminaire um, or something. It's in your pocket, isn't it? Yeah. We are using the Lumiere. Hair dye in glamour. <laughs> yeah, glamorized Lumiere. And um, sorry, that's not the right price. That's just to um, stick her off my chewing gum that I place on her hair dye because I'm an idiot. <laughs> sorry, I didn't mean to place it on your hair dye. I've just bought some chewing gum as you can hear. That sounded <laughs> awful. But I've just bought some chewing gum and that's the price tag off that because I had nowhere to put it and I didn't realize we were putting that in the video. Or else I would have put it there. Anyhow, she's doing a concealer now. Right, and now I'm going to use this. It's no, she's using the foundation. It's which Derma I'll show you. Dermacol Acne Cover, and it's really good. It's got tea tree in so it. This is it. The Dermacol Makeup Problem. I think mattifying skin and acne prevention. It's also got it in another language. And um, what's the other languages? It's in French. No, it's in Slovak. Slovakian and French is the other languages. It's by. It's got Zincadone in and it's tea tree oil. Yeah, which is and really good for. And is Dermacol and. I can't really read the back because I don't speak Slovakian, but my friend Dommy does. <laughs> She's actually called Dominica, but everyone calls her Dommy, so if you're a friend, don't call her Dominica. Yeah, or I will kill you <laughs> tonight in Nostra. It's made in Europe and it's just 30 mils and it's a really good quality thing. Yep. And I'm not sure what colour she's got. She's got it in shade 1, which I think is the lightest shade. It's like medium. It's like the medium shade. Sorry about my phone there. Yeah, so she's just going to squeeze some out now. Oh, I think Yes. <laughs> Obviously she's running low, so that's why I hold that. Just face yourself, not me. I just hold it there, hi, exchange a smile. So we're just squeezing. That's a bit too much. Oh! <laughs> right, so that's the... Ignore the words that are in my hand. <laughs> uh, she's just come back from school and like, hasn't done like that. Turn to face me. Right, so she's just, as you can see, applying a foundation. Where do you would apply foundation? I'm putting more on my matte finish. Yeah, I'm like putting more on my blemishes. 
Oh, I don't know where I put the rest of this like I'm gonna just like put it on the jawline the rest. Oh. As you do. I don't. But well, you do to share. <laughs> Purely for the purpose of this video, originally you wouldn't put it on the jawline. If I do enough match you wouldn't have to. I'll show you mine quickly. Yeah. I actually do have to put it on my jawline. Because I don't have a good match. Got like problematic areas. As you can see, so I have to put it on my jawline, but Tommy doesn't, because she's actually got a good shirt, and I'll Oh, and this is the face wash that I use, it's and it's also Demacol, and it's actually brilliant. It's actually, yeah, Demacol. Now, I'll tell you the foundation I use, as you saw, that mine didn't match. It's, it I is a really good one as well, just face it towards you, because I'm just shoving this on, you know, but how yeah. will I foundation? I'll not face at you because you might do it different ways with people. You can use your fingers or a brush. She's using her fingers and I'll then prefer she'll. I my fingers because, like, you use her fingers, but you can use this brush. She uses a brush generally for powder though. But look, you can just blend it in. I like to use my fingers better because, like, it's streak free, and when you're using a brush, it leaves like streaks, I think. <laughs> really depends. Sometimes if you put too much on your fingers, it can go like your finger trails, but if you do it properly, it doesn't. Yeah, I'll go all right. The foundation I'm wearing is um oh what was I wearing? Well this morning I was wearing Clinique, the Clinique anti blemish in shade two, which is ivory. Then now I'm wearing the Lancome Tarte Visionaire, and I'm in shade two for that. But it's too dark for me. Sorry, it's shade one that I'm in. I was gonna get shade two, but it's too dark. But in fairness, shade one's too dark too. So I think I'm just going to give up on Lancome. But um, I've got loads of Lancome beauty products. Um, as usual, oh, I've got Miss Sporting makeup as well. I've got Miss Sporting makeup like loads of it at home. But I'm um, like, I don't know really. Like, it doesn't stay on as long. But I use the acne wear version of it. What's it called? The acne one? Acne clear. No, that's okay. not it. That's, um, that was Dermacol acne. Um, what is it? Miss Sporting so clear. That was it. The Miss Sporting so clear range. I haven't got a Sporty Mascara for Mascara. I use the Helena Rubenstein, or Rubenstein, Burton's Way Farm, and I actually got it from Spain in Madrid. Right, right it was so in a shop called Kaloff. But now we're going to go back to the video, and Kaloff's actually a German brand, I don't know why it was in Spain. So yeah, right. So now as you can see, like, it's gone all matte and, like, good. So now we You can just see a couple of blemishes here. I'll zoom in if she doesn't mind, which she doesn't. Yeah. Oh, tape there we go. And that's her natural eye eyelashes. She's got normal scar on. Open your eyes wide. And then blink. Like shut them tightly. There. There. Right, and I'm using face powder in Ori Flame Studio Artist Press Powder Lumion Fair. There we go. And it's just getting dropped. Just fell in the bathtub. <laughs> it just fell into the bathtub. Um, that didn't help. That's the big. And that's the colour. It's like quite a light it's um a translucent isn't it it's light it's like porcelain it's fair yeah it's porcelain so it's she's using blusher too she's using beauty okay i don't know why it has got blush that weird thing on the front um oh they've got a brush shut the mirror um oh they didn't have a mirror <laughs> not the mirror that i'm plastic well the glass the plastic a really pretty blush i'll show you while she just applies the powder there we go it's actually more pink in real life but it's in real life, this is real life. Like when you yeah. see it first. Isn't this the brush? No, that's off my other face powder. Oh. That one's upstairs, but it doesn't go upstairs with the video. What it looks like it's a bit sick. Alright, so I'm supplying this. Yeah, dream, yeah. Uh. <laughs> Alright, so there you go. We're gone. Alright, so. Oh, she's wearing jeans from Newer Lock. And a hoodie from Urban. From Urban. Well, it's and Dylan's actually. <laughs> well, boyfriend's? No. Well, it's Dylan's hoodie. She's got Dylan's hoodie on, whoever Dylan is. I can't remember who Dylan is. I've forgotten. The American person. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> right, so now I'm doing, I'm just like doing that. I don't know she's just doing blushing now. As you can see, she's going to contour, so. She blows it first. <laughs> then she does this. And she contours up the side, like so, in a sweeping action. Do I? <laughs> <laughs> I know that, seriously. Yeah, but she's going to contour today. And you can see it leaves, like, a light pink. So, can suck it in, and I'll try and do your blush on the other side, just so you can see the difference. Right, open that so I can pop a little bit more blush on for the other side. 
So this is our two different techniques. So I actually learnt by my mother how to do it. So um, it's different techniques, but my mother did her and beauty for about a year. So yeah, but it's just really adults normally and late teens do this. Dommy is 13, so yeah, not similar. I'm a year older than her, so work out my age if you feel like it. But yeah, and um, it's a great kind of blush. And as you can see, when she stops doing golfing impressions, it actually looks really pretty. Now next she's going to do mascara. She uses, um, ba she? ba she yeah, it's a. Um, I need a pencil sharpener because my eyeliner is a bit dumb. Oh well, I'm not. I'm just not gonna do eyeliner. Not gonna do eyeliner. Um, this is a Magnum Volume Express Mascara Ultra Comb. Hold this and face me while I show them, guys. Just redo my hair, guys. Yes. Sorry. You can like. Rub sharp. This is the brush. Oh. <laughs> 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 I broke a brush. Let's <laughs> just put the brush on. Oh gosh. Look at my face. Not my knees. <laughs> Alright, here we go. I have awful knees. <laughs> I so do. Here we go. It's a great brush. Woo! Woo! I had to do that. I've like wanna do that since I like started making YouTube videos that's like three years. Two years. Made three years. Oh. I've made them quite a long time. So yeah. She's gonna do mascara now. So I'm not. She is. <laughs> I don't wanna do my mascara. I already have mascara on. <laughs> woo! Woo! <laughs> Yeah. Now basically, this is how she does it. You've got powder on your knee, never mind. Oh right. well, it'll go in the wash. I'm already going away on Monday. Right, I'm okay. sorry you might not be able to see me that well, but I have to look in the mirror. Right. She blinks quite heavily, but she pulls it up from the root, so it looks real pretty. Oh, grab. Try not to get it on the nose. Yeah, because that just looks like you've got an extra skin. If nose. you can, like if you're ambidextrous, like I. Like I am, then you can use either hand. Like you can alternate your hands for the eye, your mascara. You can use like a couple of different brands on your eyelashes to make them look fake. Yeah, you can use. Um, we don't actually have another mascara in here. Not in That's here, but I've got.